Hello. Today we are looking at how to install FL Studio 20 on a Chromebook. Firstly, we will turn on Linux apps. To do this we will go to our system settings and click on the advanced section on the left panel. Now we click on the developer section. Now we will turn on the Linux apps. Now that we have enabled Linux apps on our system, we will continue to the next step, which is to run several commands in a terminal that will install packages that FL Studio and Crossover require. All the commands are in the video description. Now we will copy the first command and open a terminal session from our app menu. Next, we will paste the command into our terminal, either with a two-finger click on your terminal or click Ctrl, Shift, and V together. This command will enable 32-bit architecture on your system. Press Enter. Now we will update the repositories of our Linux container. Now we will install some packages which FL Studio and Crossover requires. Press Enter to confirm the installation. Now we will continue to the next part of the installation process, which is to download Crossover. The link is in the video description. Download the trial version here. Fill in your details here. If you don't want to buy crossover in the future, we explain in the video tutorial how you can continue to use the free version legally as long as you want. Now we will download FL Studio installer which I created with crossover. Now we will open the packages in our file manager. Right click on crossover and install it with Linux apps. Crossover is now installed. Now we will install FL Studio.
Now we will launch FL Studio. Click on Try Now. If you want to record audio with FL Studio, you need to enable audio input for Linux apps every time before launching FL Studio. Let's do it now. All files which you want to import and export with FL Studio needs to be in your Linux folder, which you can find here. Let's launch FL Studio again. Enjoy!